hi everyone welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you a very beautiful hanging organizer and to make this you can take any kind of pattern fabric like this and a lamination sheet and uh, any kind of fabric to make a bias strip so i just bought this lamination sheet just for 50 rupees the entire roll is just for 50 rupees so i bought this and this is a normal lamination sheet where we buying our kids notebooks so um, and also this lining i'm going to make like a bias strip like this so i just made a one inch width fabric a long piece of fabric and i folded that in half and again i have folded the raw edge in and i have folded again and i pressed that in place and i made a very long strip of fabric like this okay so the basic need of this bias strip is to give the raw edge a very neat finish. So the first step is you need a fabric hanger like this and measure the hanger. So my hanger is going to measure like 15 inches. So that's going to be the width of your fabric. So same I'm going to measure on my fabric. I'm going to take like a 15 inches same and the length is uh, absolutely depends upon you as much as the big organizer you want you can adjust the length for me i'm just taking the length to be 22 inches and the width is 15 inches just depends upon the hanger width you take so you need two piece the front piece and the back piece and the same kind you need that uh, transparent uh, sheet also of a same width and the length so you can make this without the transparent sheet also that transparent sheet will protect the fabric from the dust and the dirt so that's the main reason i'm just putting that transparent sheet but you can always keep that if you don't get this in your particular area so i'm just cutting a two piece out of this for the front and the back piece and you can see i'm just making it out okay once it's done uh, same like that I'm going to cut this transparent sheet so just lay it on the top of the fabric and you're going to cut the same so it's very simple and easy to make within 10 to 15 minutes you can make a, a customized or hanging organizer so now from the top I'm going to leave like three inches to fold the fabric underneath the hanger so just for three inches I'm going to draw a line like this so that is the elements given to fold this piece in the hanger and from that just take one inch from the top so that you will give some elements for the pockets so one inch from the top and again i'm going to draw a line okay so now the height of the pockets it depends upon you as much big pockets you want you can uh, make like I'm going to take like 6.5 inches from the top and I'm going to draw a line now so these pockets are absolutely depends upon it depends upon the how much big height you give uh, you can organize your ha uh, pockets okay so from the top I just took six inch of length of pocket and again I'm going to mark for one inch uh, just uh, elements for the next pocket so you need some gap between both the pockets so i'm going to draw the next pocket so first is six or 6.5 inches again i'm going to draw a small pocket i want one to be big and one to be a small one so i've just marked four inch of pocket like this okay so you can keep your kids a stationary item your cosmetic their socks and shoe whatever you want you can just organize in this all you're going to do is you're going to increase the height and the width of the pockets that's the main thing so now to the down part same like that i'm going to mark like six inches and again i'm going to draw a line so it's going to have a three different pockets okay so let me show you in close up that is this is going to be like six inch in height okay and the second uh, thing is going to have like uh, 4.5 inches that's the height of the pocket is like 4.5 inches and the third one is from the top uh, I'm going to measure it it's going to be like six inches so we are going to cut the transparent sheet according to this height 
so I'm just taking the transparent sheet first for six inches and just drawing a line again if you don't get the sheet you can use the plain fabric also but the disadvantage of the fabric is you can't see what is kept inside that pocket so if you have the transparent sheet you can uh, visibly see what's inside the pocket so uh, I'm just drawing the three kinds of pockets in this so one is six and another one is 4.5 another one is six inches so uh, first make this ready and now my three pockets are ready okay so now the next step is we are going to start sewing this so to the pretty side of the fabric I'm going to attach this transparent sheet because I don't want a fabric to be spoiled by putting our hands into this so uh, at the front side that's to the pretty side I'm going to sew the transparent sheet so while sewing the transparent sheet make sure that you sew the top and the bottom first and then you're going to sew both the sides don't sew all together at one time that is like a box okay so first I'm so uh, finished sewing the top part and now I'm going to sew the bottom edge make sure that you ease with the fabric do not pull the fabric and uh, I just like that I'm placing the transparent sheet on top of the fabric and sewing like this so now I'm going to continue by sewing on both the sides like this so if you buy the same organizer in Amazon or eBay for sure it's going to cost like 400 to 500 depending upon the height and the width of the organizer but with the leftover fabric or any kind of fabric you can make this within 10 to 15 minutes at your home. So the next step is uh, we are going to conceal the raw edges of the pockets. So the bias strip again I let me explain you just take a one inch width fabric first you're going to press that by folding it in a center so that you'll get both the raw edges in the same way and again you're going to fold the raw edge in press that again and you're going to fold that so you can see I just made a very long strip like this and all you're going to do is just place it underneath and you're going to sew that is that cool very simple and very easy to make okay all you're going to prepare this bias strip and then you're going to sew it all around the organizer that's much simple is that so now just like that I'm going to sew my entire three pockets like this so you're going to sew on the top and the bottom not to the sides okay so little by little let me sew this in For sure kids will love this you know my daughter totally loved it and she's having she's having this organizer her personally she's she's keeping everything in that like uh, the uh, color pencils her personal things uh, her pocket money even she puts into that so that she can see how much in that and she can have a note on what all hanging in that so for sure whether you like it or not your kids will sure love this they will have it and uh, so you're going to sew on the top and bottom edge only not on the sides like this so same like that let me sew the two of the pockets okay so little by little let me sew this for sure no need to worry your machine won't spoil by sewing this transparent sheet but it takes a little bit you have to push a little bit to sew this okay so now for the 6 inch this is a 6.5 inches so just place this sheet on the exact marked edge of 6.5 inches and uh, here it goes and pin that in place before taking that to the sewing machine make sure you place it on the exact measurement okay because you're having a three kinds of measurement make sure that you place that pocket on the exact measurement that you need okay and now I'm going to divide the pocket into two halves so the 15 inches is going to be divided like 7.5 inches at the center so I just want to divide this pocket into two so that I can keep uh, in the two place I don't want a very lengthy pocket I want two compartment in that okay again this is going to be 7.5 inches one compartment and another one is going to be 5.7.5 
So the next thing is I'm going to place this uh, 4.5 inches and pin that in place. Again, uh, I just want to divide this in half. I want this to be like a three compartment. Okay, and the down part, same like this. So you can just alter the compartment also as much as big you want. That is the uh, main thing of making your own personalized organizer. You can just increase the compartment. You can even add zip to this, Velcro, whatever you want. You can add this. So uh, dividing the compartment, I'm going to add a lace to this. So if you want, you can add a lace or else you can just put a stretch on top of that. So make sure you sew only the down part so that the down part would be closed and the uh, top part would be opened enough. So I already made a stretch the down part of the transparent sheet and now I'm sewing the sides of this. Okay. So now uh, I'm just sewing the partition by adding the lace. If you want you can add lace or else you can skip this. You can add a satin ribbon or else you can just put a straight stretch that is more than enough. Make sure you add lots of uh, back stretch before adding this because that back stretch will hold the uh, organ uh, partition in place so that it won't tear. Okay. So uh, make sure you fold the raw edge in and you're going to sew the lace for giving the partition. Okay. So once it's done, your pockets are ready. And the next step, all you're going to do is you're going to sew the sides. So now you can see the pockets are ready. And the back, you're going to add a piece of fabric. So that is the pre side of the fabric. Make sure you face the pre side of the fabric and you're going to sew all the way round this. You're going to sew all the four corners of the fabric. So before sewing, make sure that pin that in place. You don't want the fabric to move. Okay. So little by little, take your time and you're going to sew on all the four sides of this lovely hanging. Okay. So once it's done by adding all the things that is by putting the fabric at the back and adding all the pockets, the end result is you're going to add the uh, bias strip to the sides. So you're going to add the bias strip all the three corners except the top one. Anyhow, you're going to fold that at the back. So once after sewing on all the three sides, all you're going to do is uh, I'm going to insert this cardboard exactly on the same height and the width okay into this make sure you reduce the height by three inches because you want to fold that so if you want the organizer to be stiff enough you can add the cardboard in like this inside the, uh, the two fabrics in between that or else you can skip this also and uh, now just by inserting this um, hanger you're going to sew that together that's it your organizer is ready so but when you add the cardboard for sure it just stays in place exactly it doesn't fly off and it just have a very good look when you add that the cardboard add more stiffness to this organizer and i bought one roll of this cardboard for just like 15 to 20 rupees and i have just used a quarter of that cardboard so uh, for sure within a 10 to 20 rupees with the leftover fabric you can make a very good organizer like this And now you can see my organizer is ready. I have just hanged that organizer in my window and I show you the hanger and you can see I have just hanged in my window and that is the curtain beneath that. It is really stiff and nice and let me put my cell phone into that and you can see it just stays really cool. And hope you like this video and if you like this video and if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below. So see you next time with a different kind of video. Take care. Bye-bye.